Okay, everybody, this is a bit later than I'd planned to do, but um, I ended up with a house full. I just thought I'd uh, talk about the scrim lace because there have been quite a few comments about it on my blog and on Instagram after I've shown it this week. So I first came across scrim lace a few years ago when I did a class with Karen Ruane. I'll put a link to her page in the comments so that you can go and have a look at uh, what she does. Um, and these are the pieces that I did from there. Uh, as you can see here, the scrim was more wrapped with left quite a few fibres in between. So that's on there and also on here, but also used here where it's been not so heavily embroidered, but um, it's got bigger holes in there. You probably see on that section here. But as with these things, you get introduced to it and then you develop it in your own style. So this is how it is in its raw state, quite loose. And then using the machine, um, you put it in a hoop and using free motion um, stitching. Notice that one was tighter and was wrapped um, stitches. This one I've done a lot looser. So especially after it's been damp stretched, here's the bigger piece here I did. Um, it has quite an open effect on it. Thanks Emma. Uh, it is lovely to feel, uh, touch as well. It has a real soft feel to it. There I've used an embroidery in here. I can't show any more of this piece until this is finished. Um, but here I've used it as an overlay so you can see the fabric through. So this is what I have left of it. What I'm going to do with it, I'm not exactly sure. I have an urge to do some embroidery with it. But we shall see. I'll put it to one side. On these pieces, mixed that one with um, free motion embroidery on silk paper, got some vintage lace and a vintage um, transfer pattern onto silk behind it. So it's quite versatile. So uh, I'll put a link to Karen's page on um, as well so you can have a look at her work. She has got some lovely pieces going on now that she's doing with Scrim. So that's what I've done with it. I'll probably do some more and I'll do the information on that on the blog as and when I do it. So enjoy the rest of the afternoon and uh, I'll speak to you soon.